Matt Chapman here for Sun Racing. So what's the latest news I can bring you? Well, we've had glimmers from Charlie Appleby and Jessica Harrington over the last few days. Charlie Appleby saying that Pinatubo, or Pinaturbo, as I'm sure he should have been called, but Pinatubo has become more professional over the winter. I've got grave doubts about sort of statements like that, because the one thing we were always told about Pinaturbo in the past was that he was professional. He was just a racehorse who got on with things. So, you know, he hasn't really become professional over the winter or a proper racehorse. He was he was that anyway. Um, the good news is he seems to have strengthened up and growing. And it's only a month that he's going to run in the guineas after the guineas he should have run in. So he's still got every chance of being a good odds on favourite, you'd imagine, for the 2,000 guineas. As for the 1,000 guineas, well, Jessica Harrington looks like sending over Millal, who's got form at Newmarket, but I'd be very suspicious of her stamina for a mile. I have a feeling she could end up being a bit of a sprinter. I'm very surprised that Jessie's not sending over KM Pepper, who was eye-catching behind Quadrilateral in the Phillies mile, got outpaced and stayed on really well. And Albina was very, very unlucky in defeat in the Breeders' Cup. Both of those two, for me, are going to be better milers than Milan. And it looks like Jessie's keeping her, her real A game, her A performers for the Irish 1,000 guineas. But we shouldn't be complacent. Of course, we've just got news that some of the French race courses are closing down once again. And today we've heard in England that over 500 people have lost their lives to coronavirus. If we'd heard that two weeks ago, I don't think any of us would be thinking that the lockdown that we were in then would be lifted. It seems in many ways to me a big surprise that we are no longer in lockdown when still over 500 people are dying. That's not my decision. That's the government's. But it just shows how precarious a position we're all in. We all think we're going to get underway on June the 1st and it's all going to go hunky-dory. We're going to have the Guineas and Royal Ascots. And that may happen. But what has happened in France today with Longchamp closing once again just shows us that this virus holds no mercy for those of us who want to get on with life. It holds no mercy for those of us who have issues and may be affected by it. Coronavirus is here to stay for the time being. It's mucking up everything. But the real people we have to think about are those losing their lives.